If you design or manufacture plastic parts, manufacturability is a primary concern. In plastic injection molding, these concerns are often, will the part fill? What kinds of pressure should I expect? Or what types of warp should I expect? These are key problems that engineers have to solve, and underestimating these parameters can cause manufacturing errors or costly reworks to your mold, both of which can blow the budget for a project. Let's take a few minutes to look at a simple wall hook I need to analyze and see how using the three levels of SolidWorks plastics can help us produce these parts right the first time. I've been given a budget for the project and I need to make sure that I stick within it. Whether you design plastic parts or if you're a mold analyst, SolidWorks plastics is a one-stop shop. Here you can see the top part of the wall hook. It's our job to figure out if this part is able to be filled. Creating the computational domain is simple with the automatic meshing feature so you can move on to the more important parts of the analysis, like applying the plastic and mold materials to be used, along with injection parameters, including temperature, pressure, and injection location. All of this helps us ensure that our simulation matches the real-world operating conditions. Once the flow analysis is complete, we can view our results and verify that the part is indeed fillable with our given parameters, though it's taking a large amount of injection pressure to do so. If this went to production, it could be a costly mistake. Instead, I'll change the injection location and size so we can ease the pressure necessary and avoid potential problems. The part fill animations and the ability to predict weld lines and air traps are invaluable so you can ensure the completed part has no short shots and has a desired surface finish. Without plastics, part filling can be difficult to predict and potentially expensive to get wrong. Let's take this a step further. We now know our parts will fill, so using the power of SolidWorks Plastics Professional, we can analyze the second stage, or packing stage, of the molding process. Also in Plastics Professional, we have the ability to create a family mold, so you can analyze the process on multiple parts at once. Enter our specific packing parameters, and work through the intuitive runner channel wizard that allows us to use native SolidWorks sketches to define our runner channels. Here are the fill and pack results from the analysis. We can see that the fill times and pressures are a bit different between the two cavities. This is not ideal. To fix this, SolidWorks Plastics offers an advanced runner balancing algorithm to ensure the two parts are filled at the same time and with even pressure. This will increase the mold life and ensure more even clamping force. Another potential rework avoided thanks to SolidWorks Plastics. Now we've validated the two stages of injection molding for this part. Moving on to the SolidWorks Plastics Premium module, we can now solve for the post-mold state of our parts through the use of virtual molds and cooling channel design. Going through the setup is intuitive and easy, and once the mesh is created, simply add the cool and warp parameters into the study and run it. A properly designed mold will provide good fill and pack of your parts and even cooling of the part to minimize warpage and maintain the part's net shape. From these results, it's apparent that the cooling channel I designed is a bit too big and is cooling off the part too fast. Again, this could have been costly to discover in the field. By simply changing its diameter and rerunning the study, we get a much better result. The sink marks and post-mold warping are calculated, showing us our final net shape. Also, these studies calculate the residual in-mold and out-of-mold internal stresses, so we can ensure the part's durability. SolidWorks Plastics Premium is the ultimate tool for the analyst who wants to know everything about the manufacturing and performance of their plastic parts. Through this process, what did we accomplish? We were able to verify manufacturability of our plastic parts through filling and packing verification. We created a mold with other parts in the assembly and analyzed the post-mold state of our parts, including cooling and warping. Using SolidWorks Plastics saved our budget by finding mistakes before a single chip was cut from the mold. You can even export the residual stresses from plastics into a nonlinear study in SolidWorks simulation to validate the structural integrity of your parts. From plastic part design to mold analyst, SolidWorks Plastics is your one-stop shop. To avoid having this happen on your next plastics project, reach out to your local CATI representative for a trial today.